Hey everybody, it's Gordon. Welcome to the bench. And today we have a garage sale find or an auction find or whatever um, this person found. It's not mine. It's a sergeant, it's a joiner, and it needs a little horn repair. Well, I don't need the whole thing, but I just happen to have it. I thought I'd make a great video because this is exactly what you're looking for out on the street. And when you see something like this, a little horn repair or a broken tote, no big deal. These are very fixable, a lot of fun. It's a great project. If you're not a metal smith or a refinishing person, a project like this is exactly what you want. In fact, the owner or previous owner even put the little horn tip in a bag. So since we have both pieces, it's gonna be an easy fix. I'll walk you through it, stick around.
Okay, so final step. We did um, the epoxy, it cured. We then filed it. I used Iwasaki rasps. I used a three millimeter round and a six millimeter flat. Touched it off in place and then wiped it with a transtint um, coffee color just to add a little bit of color back in. It's slightly darker on the tip than it is uh, on the body of the, plant, of, the, of the tote there. And then I hit it with a quick shot on each side and underneath with a lacquer, just a rattle can spray lacquer. Masked off, I slid some cardboard in here to kind of protect the plane. Then Johnson's, um, or not Johnson's, but Minwax, Paste Wax, Special Dark. And you saw that can, I put that in the frame and then I let it dry, right? And now if we go into this guy and kind of buff off that wax, it's gonna leave a shine and it's gonna be protected and might even be a little too shiny. And if that's the case, you can go back with your steel wool and just kind of knock down some of the sheen and uh, give it a look like that. So it's got a nice used look. It looks complete. And we were going for a user. This is a Sergeant Joiner. It's like the number eight equivalent of a Stanley. Um, and uh, a great user plane that's going to be for sale by the owner. And um, now what? Um, we weren't really going for full restoration. I didn't want this to look like it was brand new and have it stand out when the rest of the plane, which is in excellent shape, um, just wouldn't match. So leaving some user marks and the wear and tears on there, you could probably even put a little ding or two. Sometimes I distress my my um, my work and I'll just put a little couple of marks or dents in it and it takes away from that newness and gives it something like, um, you know, that like it's been there. So what else did we do? G2 Epoxy, of course, it's System 3. It's the absolute best epoxy out there. There's a link down below. If you're interested in purchasing System 3 epoxy products, um, use my name, get 10% off. I'll put that in there as well. And how do we know our epoxy's cure? You've seen it is cured. You've seen me do this before, but our little mixing cup, I always break that apart because what's in the cup is what's in the, the woodwork, right? So here's our little puddle. And if I bend this guy, it's got a little bit of flex to it. And we know that it's cured. And um, I don't want it to shatter, but man, I can't even break that. So it's a silver dollar size. I can put a warp on it. I can give it a little bend. But boy, is this stuff good stuff. That is G2. I'm not gonna hurt myself trying to prove a point. It's good epoxy. This is the best you can get. This little project looks great. Let's back up as long as you promise me you won't stare at my bench, which is a mess. And here we go. This is a sergeant. I uh, don't know the sergeant number, honestly. But a nice user, a solid plane. This is an absolute beauty. And it's got a full mahogany tote with a complete horn on it. How about that? Surprise? You shouldn't be. All right. See you guys.